I mean, I ain't tripping because it could have been a lot worse and I could have been in a different location and all of that, though. You know what I'm saying? But my, my, the other trick I got, I was coming back from Marble Falls, hit a pothole, my upper control arm broke. So it's common. Yeah. That's how they break. Yeah. Okay. It's just after, it's a 17, it probably never been changed, so I just didn't change them all out. Yeah. And if it happened like that on this, this is a 95, so yeah, yeah. understood. Yeah. For sure. So when you look for them, you want to use, um, you want to find the ones that have the steel control arm. Uh, Dorman usually has the good ones, but it just depends on what you want to spend on them. Hub control arm. Yep. Go y'all. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Man, got my boy KG behind the camera though. You know, you know. Hey, Mike, you know found this thing this is what i was looking for i just found this and i well you know when i got the car it was in the car and i never had to use it, you took it out. well i was in the trunk i'm hoping this is it i never got a chance to uh when i told you i was gonna look for it i did nope that's not it that's the one right there that's not it it's too big it might be another one in it, or maybe but this is how you can tell though all right, so you so say you rock it this way, all that play. Mm -hmm. You see it up there, rocking up there. But watch the control arm right here. Rock it again, what you said. Let me see. Rock it, you see all that? You said up there, up where? Up here, the upper control arm. Now watch okay. this. Watch how it slides back and forth. Not supposed to do that. No, not at all. That's why when I hit the brake, it's probably because it's, it's putting that little play. It's, I feel that jerk right there immediately. Um, see what I'm talking about in there? Yeah. A lot of those later just popped out, but but it see it fell all the way back in here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's look, it's completely broken. It's not, it's not connected. Oh, it's not connected on that side at all. Exactly. That's open. where it broke. Yeah, up here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, upper control on. And put that ball joint there too, so it's the whole assembly. I was just watching the video like ten minutes ago, and they sell them depending on not for this car, but the control arm come with the ball joint on it. Yeah. Yeah. You have you have the option. You can buy the one with the ball joint in it. Or it said it matters it. how it was put into the control arm. Was it riveted or was it pressed in? Or no, um, no, these are screwed in. Okay. See? This is screwed in, and then you pop and press it out. To press in, and then bolt it in. So, okay, what you say about the hub though? What what what, what part of the hub is messed up? What, well, like, see I that, see the like, control arm, so yeah. I'm I'm kind of slow. So, so when you wiggle it like this, mm -hmm. there shouldn't be any play. This way is your 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 rack and pinion or your uh, your tie rod and this way here is your hub so it's oh the way so you rock when that when that snapped it it also popped the bearings in that hub so if we replace the control arm without the hub in about probably about a week or so you'll hear nothing but grinding from your tire while it's turning because the bearings are off mm -hmm. so it's the control arm and the hub we'll have to replace control arm and hub okay how do you feel about um i, don't, I ain't priced none of the parts but is that an expensive part, or that or I can get a junkyard one? You can get a junkyard one. We just have to find one. We can get. We can. Okay, set them up. That's for sure. Yeah. I gotta find this thing, though. You said. Okay, I can see it. But it was in the. It was in this truck, though. It was probably the original key. Yeah. So they, they changed. Somebody changed the bolts out. The yeah. lugs. I gotta have that thing. I ain't been nowhere. It's gotta be here. You just not came back from out there? Yeah. Now I gotta go move. I gotta go finish moving the storage unit. Oh yeah, I thought you was done with the move. Still no, making moves. We did eight truck loads and still that 20 foot trailer was loaded down. My yeah. other truck was loaded down, plus that trailer was loaded down. Oh, you're moving somebody to another place. We're moving it from our storage unit into our house. She oh. went from a two-story house in Dallas to a one-story three-bedroom house. In Dallas though. Here. She so it was more than one trip? She moved from, no, her stuff's already in storage here. Okay, okay. But okay, it was a three story, it was a two story house she moved from in Dallas. She moved to Clean, so they put everything in storage. Bro, 
three bedroom sets, four couches, five tables, and a bunch of clothes and purchase. Trailer, truck, and whatever you had in inside. Trailer, no, oh. two trailers, two trucks. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I yeah. I had both yeah. my trucks loaded down with, with the trailers, but I had the 20 foot trailer. You, I'm thinking it's not gonna take long with that 20 foot trailer. <laughs> Man. Oh, so we got a last load today. We started it off. We did it. We did it with all day Wednesday. Thursday we didn't do nothing because Thanksgiving. And today, finishing up. What's today? Saturday, Friday. Today, Saturday. Yep. Yeah. So I'm about to, uh, yesterday we gave her time to get everything, some of the stuff put up. So now we're about to go finish this up. Taking about three hours, hopefully. One, maybe one, two trips. Yeah. If the rest is all big stuff, washing machine, dryer, and then a couple couches. Rest and, after that. And clothes, yeah. No, not rest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna go look for this thing right now. I'm just gonna think because I'm gonna need it anyway. Yeah, I mean, if, if you can't find it, I got a lug buster that'll break it off. We just have to replace it. Oh, ain't no thing then. Like I said, I didn't put these on, it was on there when I got it. So, yeah, so what we might end up doing is taking off breaking all the locks off. Yeah, and I get the one I need, but I might got one. I'm gonna look for it right now, though. Yeah. I'm gonna look for it right now for sure. Yeah, see, them locks right there are pain in the ass. Well, I kind of you kind of want to have them though, you know, no. because what I do because usually to avoid that, I get the rest with the cover over it. Oh, you're talking about the rim itself? The, the, rim, type no, of rim? the rim, then they got the plastic cover over it, so yeah. you have to break that plastic cover off to get to the to the lug. If they want them bad enough, they'll do that, though. Yeah, but by the time you break them off over here, I'm coming out the house with a shoddy. Yeah, that part. I'm not coming out I'm not coming out with the big bro. I'm coming out making as much noise as possible. Yeah. That way, everybody going to know you fucking my shit. This is what you have to deal with. That part. Magazine fed all day long. Man, this is crazy. So that's just Commodore. A pothole just took me out the game. Well, or because it's, it's old it's anyway. It's old. It's old. It's old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bro, I, I mean, I, I ain't tripping because it could have been a lot worse and I could have been in a different location and all of that, though. You know what I'm saying? But. My, my, the other truck I got, I was coming back from Marble Falls, hit a pothole, my upper control line broke. So it's common. Yeah. That's how they break. Yeah. Okay. It's just, after. It's, it's a 17, it probably never been changed, so I just didn't change them all out. Yeah. But if it happened like that on this, this is a 95, so yeah, yeah. understood. Yeah. For sure. So when you look for them, you want to use, um, you want to find the ones that have the steel control on. The uh, Dorman usually has the good ones, but it just depends on what you want to spend on them. Hub, control, control arm. arm. Yep. Those won't be together. Hub and control arm. You go also need a bar joint. So if the, if, the, if the control arm don't have a bar joint in it. You can go on Amazon. Amazon will have it. Together. Yeah. Okay. Because if, if because my thing is, if we're gonna change out this control arm and this up, let's do the same thing on that side, so you don't have to worry about that happening to you later on. Now I was looking. Now I see this in the video. The one I sent you, I see this right here is flat, clear as day, right? Yeah. And then on this side, I can see like a bell or a, a, a like a bow or, and that seems I think that's natural how that look. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That one over there don't have none of that in there, so I don't know if that got knocked out or if that's if no. that's the problem or. This right here. This that's one part of the ball joint. That's part of the ball joint. Okay, it's with the shield there. that's over there? The it's on there, it's just bent. See, look. It's on there, I was just looking at it. Okay, I don't know what to look for exactly, so I'm trying to... It looked flat up in here though, maybe. Nope, it's not on there. It's not on that side, it's not on that side. Mm -hmm. different, different control arms. They different? Oh, yeah. totally? Yeah. So. That one comes with that. It looks like they put a spacer on this one. See, this is what I was looking different at. I see that right there too. See, that looks like a spacer, not part of the. Unless this is just the boot, no? Because that one. Unless that's what's broke on that side. At, yeah, when it snapped, it might have broken that part off as well, or pushed the boot all the way up on it. Because I was looking at even this right here. Let me see if that's even the same how it's hooked up. Yeah, it's the same. But it's just a different. Yeah. I'm hoping that it, it, I'm hoping that the bracket didn't break for the. Uh, yeah, see that we like that piece right there missing. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Could have. I don't know if I told you this, but I felt it, it sounded like somebody threw something at my car. Like after that, like that's why I was like, man, something not right. Like I hit the bump, boom, and then it sounded like a, like somebody threw a rocket at my car. It might have been that piece That's probably out. what it was. I pulled over and I ain't seen nothing. The wheel wasn't sitting sideways or nothing. I was like by Burger King on. So when, when, you, made, when you made that final turn, the turn that cut that wheel far enough, it finally just gave in. That's probably what happened. Yeah. That's probably what happened. Yeah, we'll, get the, we'll get the parts we need. I'm going to get on Amazon right now and look at All it. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just going to do it for price difference. I mean, because yeah. pretty out, out there, it shouldn't cost nothing anyway, though. 
Hopefully they got one out there. That's all we gotta hope for. Some type of bubble. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it found. All right, in a minute, bro. All right. Yeah. Let me get this shit knocked out. I'll be back. Appreciate it. All right. So. I'm about not coming back for the cut. Thursday. It ain't no thing, it's just I be trying to line them up to where I could do as many at one time though, so I ain't just doing something, go do something, I have to come back and do a cut, you know what I'm saying? That's all. All right. Yep. Yeah, y'all, so I gotta find this for sure. I thought I had it, but this one obviously too big though. And I just found this in there with all the stuff that was in this car when I got it. So now I gotta look. Let me see if I can find. Let me find this key. All right, let's see. Just when I got the keys, man. I'm trying to figure this out, cause. It shouldn't be nothing in this car. Now, I feel like if I saw the, the key to the lug nut, I would have put it up somewhere. And the fact that I remember taking all this stuff out of here, and then I put it, most of it right here. I thought all of it was right here. And this is where I found the lock and key. This one. You know what I mean? And I felt it. You know, I just thought it was it. So maybe that was for another set of rims. I'm not sure. Another set of lug nuts. But this is all the stuff that was in there. I need to probably get in here anyway, cause I'm gonna start messing with this car. I might as well go ahead and mess with it for real. What's this? Okay, that's a love nut. It's a door switch. Exhaust tips, never put them on. Dip. I got side mirrors with the turn signal blinker just sitting to the side y'all I ain't doing nothing with the car for real so I got those it's the motor and the mirror that go in there mm -hmm. let's see now where's the other one? Okay, there's that one. The other mirror. Let's put that over there. But, y'all see what I see, right? I don't see any key. So, Let's 
thing. Not in here. I mean, luckily he said he got a, a lug nut buster on there. <laughs> ah, still locked up. It's not in there anyway. Just check that in there. Look at this. Look at these bees, y'all. Still got bees in Texas. Where you going, shorty? Get up out of there. Hey, y'all, y'all think I'm going to be capping about the weather. In Texas, we still shining. Kill this bee when you get out of there, though. I'm going to leave him alone, though. I'm going to have to go find this key. Hopefully, I got it before you come back, man. But make sure um, y'all subscribe so y'all don't miss what's next, man. For real, though. Numbers going up. And, man, we about that. Subscribe to the channel. Peace. Man, this was, like, so crazy that I cannot find... I'm tripping out about this. Like, man, I don't know what I did with it, though. I don't know if I put it in one of the other cars. Maybe I did, but I would have put all the stuff that belonged to this car with all the stuff that came out of the car. So this don't make sense. If I find it, I find it. If I don't, man, my boy gonna have to come through and do his thing, man. man. Got my boy KG behind the camera though. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man, like, hey man, can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen, you hear me? Can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Hopefully y'all can hear me over the AC, man. But outside of that though, man, subscribe to the channel. Invite me, man, my second YouTube channel, you feel me? I'm over here waiting on y'all to get there. Tap in. I actually got two YouTube channels. So there's two different QR codes on each side of the truck. Just check them out. Yep, I do daily vlogs almost every day. Oh, did you take a picture or scan it? I took a picture of it. Oh, you had to scan if you take the picture? Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. It reached. KG Go Hard, that's me, bro. I appreciate you, man. Right, no yep. Today's video is brought to you guys, brought to you guys by KG Go Hard, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna put it on there right there. You know what I'm saying, let the thing clear in. Yeah, make sure y'all go subscribe, like, hit the bell. You know what I'm saying? Go hit him on his last video and tell him, you know what I'm saying, real to real sent you. You know what I'm saying? And we are here. You know what I'm saying? For some big support. But, um, yeah, make sure y'all do that, man. All the links are in the description uh, below to the channel. 
So make sure you guys go subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? He just getting started. He won um, Mr. 75 Caprice giveaway. And um, he started a YouTube channel after doing it. That's why I told you guys, um, you guys can start your YouTube channel after you win these vehicles because it'll help you grow by saying that you own this person's vehicle. You know what I'm saying? And it'll help you out in the long run. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys get y'all tickets for Big Boy Ramp Truck. And make sure y'all give him a subscribe. His link is in the description. And, uh, yeah, man, let's get back into the video. Peace. All right, guys, y'all know this video is sponsored to you by my boy Kevin Jones, man, uh, a.k.a. Kaji Go Hard. He won the Tahoe, the, the two-door Tahoe on 30s from uh, from uh, Mr. 75 Caprice. So he's out there living, man. He's lit. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to give you all his, um, you know, after this, you're going to see the links of his YouTube, his Facebook, and his Instagram. Uh, and then... In the description is where y'all gonna see the links to just go easily access to go subscribe like and follow him on all three platforms that he's got going on his youtube reminds me a lot of myself like i really like him guys so if y'all rock with me go rock with him he really is showing like how to show love he's out there he's putting a camera in people's faces he's he's energetic he's ready to go he wants it um you know i think he needs it you know what i'm saying i needed it that's why i act how i act i need it you feel me so um, I hope the best for him, man. And this video is sponsored to you by uh, Kaiji Go Hard. So go give him a chance, guys. Like I said, he won the giveaway by uh, Mr. 75 Caprice. He came in first place and got the truck. So big shout out to him. And uh, don't leave the video, guys. If y'all at the end of the video, thank you for watching the whole thing. If y'all at the middle, keep watching, guys. I'll see y'all in a bit. game man this video is brought to you by by kg go hard i need y'all to go mess with him man his real name is kevin jones he won that car off of 75 capri mr 75 caprice please go show him some love game he heavily invested into this and just the real ones i just need y'all to go over there and show him um you know that y'all seen this and that y'all support him at least go comment 32 game go run his subscribers up run his following up run his facebook up um, you know, I'm doing my best for him again. I did a second video in a row for him. So it's because he actually reminds me of myself, guys. He does everything really, really good. He works super hard every single day on YouTube, guys. So if y'all have love for me, I need y'all to go show love to KG Go Hard. The links will be in the description of this video. Y'all can leave right now and go subscribe and follow him. That's how much I want him to succeed, guys. Um, also, make sure that y'all come back and enjoy the rest of the video. Um, some crazy shit happened, man, when uh, CJ and my mom seen each other. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And also, if you're at the end of the video, man, thank you for watching the whole video. Um, you were awesome. And, uh, you know, let's just keep going from there, guys. And uh, like I said, please go to the links in my description to subscribe, follow, and uh, add friend on Facebook to my guy, KG Go Hard, a.k.a. Kevin Jones. Big shout out to Kevin Jones, man. I see you, bro. I'm doing my best for you. Um, hopefully people go over and uh, message you. See you guys in a bit.